Hello, this video is in our series electronics and in this video I will be introducing the EV3. So the EV3 is the third model of the LEGO Mindstorm series after the RCX and the NXT. And it, in case you don't know, it acts as the brain of the robot. So it's like a computer and it stores all the programs and it, it's wired to the sensors and motors and tells them what to do. To turn on the EV3, you need to press this button in the center and wait a long time. We won't be showing the whole process, but when it's done, it will make a sound and this red light over here will turn green. And to turn it off, press this button on the top first, and then scroll to the right so the, so the selector is on the check mark, and then press the center button, which means select. Once the EV3 is on, you'll see that there are these four menus on the top which you can navigate to using the side buttons on the left and right. So you can navigate through them. The first and second menus are for programs. So the first menu, it shows the most recent sub-programs which you ran, which over here they all say program. But if you go to this, so it's like a quicker way to find it, but if you go to the second menu, it's more organized by the name of the folders, which are the programs that you have downloaded from your computer. And when you, when you press the center button to select, then you get the actual program file that you run. And also, when you click on the folder, when you select that, there's options to delete it or to share it by Bluetooth. When the EV3 is on, you'll see that there are these four menus on the top, which you can navigate through using these side buttons. The first and second menus are for programs. In the first one, you get all these sub-programs, which over here all are named program, and they're ordered by most recently used, so it's a quicker way to navigate through it. And on the second menu, you have all the name folders of the programs that you've downloaded. And you can navigate through that going up and down. And when you select one of them, pressing the middle button, then you can then it opens up and you can see the program file, which you click on to run. And if you just click on the folder, then there's options to share by Bluetooth or delete it and you could always go back at any time using this button on the top to go back in the third menu there are many cool features so this first one is port view when you have a motor or sensor connected it could give you the reading so here to demonstrate we have this one motor so if I navigate to A over here and I spin this it tells you how many degrees it's spinning. So it uses the rotation sensor. And it can be a positive or a negative value depending on which way you spin it. And on the bottom are all the sensors, which we don't have any connected right now. But it can give you the, the color if you have a color sensor connected. And if you have an ultrasonic sensor connected, it can tell you the distance. And so there's many things you could do with it, like you could get the, it gives the reading of the sensors. And the second one is motor control. Which you can use these buttons to on the EV3 brick to spin the motor. Like this. So in this case, a is up and down, and D, we don't have a D motor connected, but that would be left to right. And you can press the center button to switch to B and C if you have B and C, if you have motors connected in the B and the C ports, not A and D. But in this one, it's in the A port, so only up and down works. 
Another thing there is is IR control, which you need to first of all have an ultrasonic sensor connected to the four port on the bottom. So and once you do that, there's also a remote which comes with the EV3 set. So you can just that has buttons on it, so you use those buttons to move your robot, like navigate it without like wirelessly, as long as you have an ultrasonic sensor connected. Just like a remote control car, so it's really fun. And finally, brick program. You can write programs on the EV3 brick using itself. But the problem with that is there are limited options. And on the computer, if you just use their software, and then there's way more options. There's many things you can do with it. And it's easier to control, and then you could just download it onto the EV3. So we recommend using the computer software instead of Brick Program. Finally, in the fourth menu are all the settings, including volume, sleep. So the sleep thing, it, um, it chooses after how long the EV3 is inactive to shut off and volume you can just move it down and bluetooth you can use it to connect to a computer or another ev3 brick and wi-fi can use that too and finally there's brick info so it's just like any any other device you can use the ev3 it's just like a little computer when you have started a program using the center button. You can always quit if anything goes wrong using this back button on the top. So this is useful many times and especially in FLL something can go wrong and you might need to rescue the robot quickly before it does something bad. The EV3 runs on six AA batteries or you could buy rechargeable batteries online. Connect motors and sensors onto your EV3. There are ports for the wires. The lettered ports, A, B, C, and D, are for motors. And notice that there's four ports for motors in the EV3, unlike in the NXT where there were only three. And on the other side, there's one, two, three, and four numbered ports for the sensors. These are the wires for the robot. And there's a short one, a medium one, and a long one. So these wires on the say are the same on both ends and you can put one end into one of the ports and then the other end it fits into any of the motors or sensors. And that's it for the video. Thanks for watching.